Thanks, Jana. The Division of Asset Capital Management and Maintenance, or DCAM, released a list of possible new courthouse locations for the Roderick Ireland Courthouse in downtown Springfield. Tonight, Western Mass News reporter Matt Satilli is getting answers on what that means. It's a location that's convenient for all of the public and a spot that is safe and healthy for everybody who's going to be using it. DCAM releasing an assessment with a list of possible courthouse relocation options for the Roderick Ireland Courthouse in downtown Springfield. Jeff Morneau, an attorney representing employees in an ongoing lawsuit against the state trial court, says he doesn't have a preferred location. He's just relieved after years of health concerns for employees inside the courthouse's walls about the prospect of finally building a new one. We were very excited to see that the proposal from the trial court and from DCAM is for a new courthouse that the members of this community deserve. The report lists 13 sites, all ranked by score. That score based on criteria, including property ownership, parking, and access access to public transportation. The top option, according to DCAM scores, to rebuild at 50 State Street, which is the site of the existing courthouse, followed by two sites on Liberty Street. Two options exist outside the city limits in East Long Meadow. According to the DCAM report, officials will now evaluate the top six options, which scored over 130 total points. If you found an equally convenient location to 50 State Street and the riverfront worked, then that would be a that would be a fine location. Mayor Dominic Sarno has been in vocal support for a courthouse on the riverfront in the North End on Avocado Street. This has a, a housing component. It also has a marina component and spin off with restaurants and little boutique shop. It would be a game changer. That site placed 12th out of 13, and he echoed his concerns about rebuilding on State Street, which he claims would take much longer than his projected timeline of three to four years to build on the riverfront. There is a tremendous stigma of the uh, uh, environmental health with that situation. And if you're looking at the current site, that could take a decade, a decade to get built. Reporting for Western Mass News, I'm Matt Satilli. The report also states that now DCAM will visit those half dozen sites to prepare costs for acquiring and then constructing those locations.